morning and I welcome my viewers from across the globe today. Thank you again for being part of this show. We'll be going to Burkina Faso and I want to bring to my viewers current developments from Burkina Faso. On the 25th of October 2024, Globe Eye News reported as follows. It says, Burkina Faso President Ibrahim Touare. He says, we will cancel gold mining permits of mining companies in our country. We know how to mine our own gold. This is what we shall be discussing today. So if you want to uh, find out more about this, please keep watching. Now, writers earlier reported uh, this development on the 5th of October 2024 in a story titled, Burkina Faso plans to withdraw some mining permits. It says Burkina Faso plans to withdraw mining permits from some foreign companies and will seek to produce more of its own gold without specifying which permits will be cancelled. We know how to mine our own gold, and I don't understand why we are going to let multinationals come and mine it. In fact, we are going to withdraw mining permits. So which mining companies or which gold prospecting companies operate in Burkina Faso? Reuters gives us the answer. It says London listed Endeavour Mining, Australia-based West African Resources, Russia's North Gold, and Canada's Arizona Gold Corporation. All these ones operate in Burkina Faso. And now let's digress a little bit. Because a few months ago, one of my viewers asked me, how will Africans be mining their gold and their resources. And I want to say that what Trari has just said, he's simply stating what has been existing in Africa for centuries. He's simply stating the obvious. So when people ask how are Africans going to mine their gold, it simply betrays the ignorance uh, of some about African history. There was a man called Mansa Musa, who was reputed to be the richest man in history. The question is, how did Mali Empire mine its gold in the days of Masa Musa? The Ghanaians have been mining gold long before the British came. And that was why when the British came, they called Ghana the Gold Coast. The Benis of the old Bini Empire in Nigeria, they have been smelting iron long before the British came. Now, if you go right now to the palace of the Oba of Benin, you will still find intricate artwork cast in iron. The knowledge of iron smelting was there before the British came. Now, these intricate artworks, they were looted by the British and they scattered all over the world in Western Misea, scattered all over the world. End of my digression. Let's go back to Burkina Faso. What's going to be the impact of the decision of President Traore? First, we look at the impact on economic growth. As Burkina Faso takes control of gold prospecting in their country, it has the potential to generate significant economic growth. The government can then ensure that a larger portion of this revenue, the revenue that will be generated from this exercise, especially from the sale of gold, that this revenue remains in the country instead of being remitted abroad. At the same time, policies that favor local businessmen and communities may be implemented. This includes, for example, supporting small-scale uh, uh, small miners and businessmen through training and, a resource, and provision of resources that will enable them to do their business well. And ultimately, this will generate employment for the local population and it result in a more equitable distribution of income. We look at sovereign control over resources. And when the government decides to cancel permits, it will allow Burkina Faso to assert its sovereignty over its natural resources. The resources of Burkina Faso, and by extension, the resources of Africa, they belong to the people. They do not belong to foreigners. 
They don't belong to any foreigner. So sovereign control or the assertion of sovereign control allows for strategic planning, especially in relation to resource management. The nation is then in a better position to decide, one, what to exploit, two, where to exploit, three, how to exploit, and four, when to exploit these resources based on market conditions and the social needs rather than being dictated by foreign or external entities. We'll talk about the impact on social development. And we observe that increased revenues from controlling of gold prospecting gives Burkina Faso the flexibility to invest in social development initiatives. This, this will undoubtedly in, improve the quality of lives of the citizens of Burkina. Funds that are generated from gold sales could be invested in building of schools, hospitals, roads, railways, and other infrastructure that contribute to long-term economic development. And now as we draw our show today to a close, here are a few reactions from social media about what uh, President Ibrahim Traoré plans to do in Burkina Faso. One commentator said, Burkina Faso's leader, Captain Ibrahim Traoré, recently announced plans to withdraw mining permits from some foreign companies with the goal of increasing domestic control over, mine, over gold mining. He says, while Traoré didn't specify which companies would be affected, his statements reflect a push towards nationalizing parts of Burkina Faso's mining sector. I think we said that before, that it's going to uh, help Burkina Faso assert uh, control, sovereign control over its uh, resources. Another commentator said, this follows growing frustration with foreign control and the perception that local resources should be better managed for the country's benefit. And another commentator said, wow, Ibrahim, this is a bold move for the country's resources. It is great to see such confidence in local capabilities. And yet another commentator said, better to deal with gold by yourself and spend on your own people. And yet another commentator screamed, leadership. Yes, that's what leadership is all about. Leadership takes courage. It takes commitment. That's what leadership is about. And yet another commentator said, Traoré's government, which took power in 2022, has faced significant security challenges as the country contends with attacks from extremist groups. This unrest has already disrupted mining operations, adding complexity to this new policy shift. His recent decision marks a broader trend in West Africa, where some nations are asserting more control over the natural resources and shifting alliances from Western countries towards partnership with Russia. I think this, this commentator is referring to Mali uh, and also Niger and to some extent Senegal. I'm, I'm not sure if that commentator is referring to Nigeria or Ghana or Cote d'Ivoire. I don't want to say beyond that. Yet another yeah. commentator says it. The CIA is probably prepping for, to fund a civil war which will overthrow the current president of Burkina Faso. After that, they replace him with a puppet. End of story. The USA keeps control. Now, in reaction to that comment, I want to say that all lovers of Africa, all friends of Africa must pray that this kind of thing does not happen. And now because Traoré has stepped on many toes, he's bound to have many adversaries, many enemies. And that is why the young man must be very, very conscious of his own personal security. And here we draw the curtains to our show today. Now, if you have enjoyed the content, if you have found it useful or informative, please consider to help this channel to grow. You help us to grow by subscribing, by liking, and by sharing the work that we do. There are also other avenues of support which you may choose 
And whichever way you choose to support us, I want to say that I am very, very grateful and thank you. Once again, thanks for watching and bye.